Mask, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm good, good, and you, how are you? Fine, I'm doing well. A good weekend? Yes. Yes, it's okay. Good evening. Good evening, Good Roman. Uh -huh. uh, I ask a question, teacher. For yes, yes, ask. Do the platform uh, uh, do, uh, until that uh, exercise uh, we will finish or do it? Uh, because uh, I have a, a doubt about uh, about what, what number you, of exercise is necessary to finish today. Today we are beginning five. Beginning? Point, we are beginning five point six. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So today we are doing five point six, and probably finish five point eight. Mm -hmm. uh, May may yeah okay. I have a problem with the five five point five or three question. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look. No problem, Romulo. Let's we wait. Okay, for, thank you. But I think it's not five point five. Would take a look in, in the exercise and, and check what is the what is the number because five point five is this one, is the lesson objective. Um let me check. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a five. The the next uh, one five point six. Uh -huh, then, then. Is for this is the video five point no, six. No, 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 teacher. No, it's a it's a fine. Let me let me check my plot of font. Yeah, the, that one. Okay. Um, the vision. No, no, no. Is that? Uh, okay. Me, I, 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 I took a picture. Okay, Romulo. No problem. You check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me check. Next in the full screen. Excellent. If you want, you can share your screen, Ramon, and we can help you. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me. Okay. Okay, well, Romulo is looking for his question to, to remember where it is. Um, le, how was everybody else? Uh, your weekend, anything new? Did you go out? Did you stay home? Yeah. Stay home, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> 5.4. Just stay we, home. Just stay at home. Okay. Yes, with my family. And have a good time. Yeah, Saturday was uh, a long day because in the morning I was working just for for some hours, and then uh, we watch uh, we watch a movie with my family in Netflix, and and we got we got to go to sleep late. And Sunday wake up. Well, I, I was waking up uh, some late, almost 10 of the morning, I think. Wow, wow, very late, <laughs> very late. Yeah, That's for me, it's, it's very late. Okay. Um, teacher. Okay, Romulo, what, what, is the, what is the exercise, Romulo? 5.4. <laughs> okay, let's take a look, 5.4, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Which is the question? The letter exercise three letter B. 
exercise three, letter B. If I couldn't afford to fix it, I, okay, and what did you put? Romulo, what, what? If I couldn't, because I couldn't, is it the past, I think, right? Yeah. Offer to fix it and I, let me check. I had to walk everywhere. And what is the model? But you need the model. You have to walk is the verb. But what do you use for for the model? Ah, I think at the model. Okay, mm -hmm. I I will I will. Uh, correct, correct. I would, I would have to walk everywhere. Okay. Try that. No, let me check. Mm -hmm. If I couldn't afford to fix it. I would have to walk. I would. Yeah. Anybody else have any other questions about the platform or exercises while Romulo is checking the answer? Yeah, I, 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 I run, I, I run right. Yeah, submit. Is correct, Romulo? Yes, correct. Okay, there you go. There you go. It's only the model that you that you needed to include. Oh, okay, and the next one that the uh, number four, letter eight. Okay. Let's see. Anybody have an idea? Take a look here if you're not sure. Four. Number four, letter A, right, Romulo? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody have an idea what would be the answer? Have you. Okay. Have you? Have you. I, I, I write, will you. Would you break? Okay. Anybody else have another idea? That sounds better. Would you? Uh huh. Uh, that's it. What Thank exercise you. is that, teacher? Sir? This is exercise 5.4. Knowledge check 5.4. Okay. Number four. Huh. Romulo, what did you put? Will do. Uh huh. Will you break into your houses mm -hmm. if you lock it and pass? Lock it. Uh -huh. Change the burden pass. Okay. Hey Romulo, but I we we did this in class. We already did this. Remember that the houses is not plural. This one we did last week in class. Is house singular, not house. houses? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Try, try house. The, the the rest is correct. Would you? Would you is correct. Would you break into your house, but no houses yes. into your house, if you lock yourself out? Yes, it's correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, finally, teacher, I'm sorry. It's, uh, no, no, no problem. That's why. That's why we're here. Somebody can help. Mm -hmm. Letter B. Letter B, the last one. Uh, okay, the letter. letter okay. Uh -huh. Everybody, let's take a look. Anybody have an idea to help him? This is letter B. This is the 5.4, number four, letter B. The number 4A is. Would you break into your house if you locked yourself out? And the answer, if I? Didn't have. Okay. Another key. Mm -hmm. I will ask a neighbor for help. Very good, very good, man. Okay, excellent. I That's didn't. Right. 
Yes, because it's in the past. So if you need to put in the past, if I didn't have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Romulo? Yeah. All right, great. All right. Now, besides Romulo, anybody else have any other questions or any part of the platform that is not clear? Teacher, in yes. this exercise, we write the all sentences or only words? No, or words. the entire sentence, right, Romulo? Is by Rene? You guys did it already. It's the entire sentence. Oh, okay, if I didn't have another key, I... Romulo, do you see the chat? I will ask. A neighbor, a neighbor for help. The answer is in the chat, Romulo. Romulo, do, huh? do you see the chat? In the chat. Okay, let me. I know. Let me check. Banner the answer. Uh huh. You didn't have another key. I go ask a neighbor for help. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So if you have this answer, but it's wrong. Is something technical, maybe two spaces, maybe the apostrophe. Yeah, yes, I, I, I run the, yeah. The, uh, okay. Yes, but in this part, uh, the question, I don't remember who asked, but yes, in this part, it's necessary to write the complete sentence. If you only put the short answer, I would have, or I could, or should, is not going to be correct. You need to put the complete sentence. Yeah. Anybody else have any other questions? For me, no, teacher, thank you. Okay, good. For Romulo, anybody else or we're okay? Okay. If we don't have any other questions, let's take a look at today. Today, the idea is we're going to be looking at uh, vocabulary and make sure that we're expanding our vocabulary. This is 5.6, 5.6 antonyms. Do you remember what are antonyms? Yeah. yeah. For example, what are some antonyms that yeah. you know? Happy and... They are different. Uh, happy and sad. Are they all positive? Correct. Correct. They're, they're, they're the opposites. For example, happy and sad. Exactly. So the idea is we use antonyms very frequently to describe things, to explain things. Okay. So especially when we're not sure of another word, we try to use an antonym or we use the negative. She's not and then the antonym. Okay. So or he's the car uh, is is and then an, a description. That's the same idea. In this moment, we're gonna just learn a few more words. This is 5.6. We're gonna learn a few more words for, uh, with antonyms to describe, to help us. Antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary. Take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept, admit, agree, borrow, deny, disagree, dislike, divorce, enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember, save, spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. We want you to choose four pairs of opposites. Write sentences using each pair. To know about Anthony. Okay. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to join our partners and we want to make sure that it's clear what these words mean and that we understand. If you are on the phone, I sent in WhatsApp 
or if you're on the computer, 5.6. What are the ones that match? For example, I accept and refuse, okay? And then we wanna make sure that we get the other one. So whatever ones that you know, that's the ones that we want to start with, okay? Try to match the words and their antonyms. It's okay, the first part of the activity? It's okay. Okay, so the first part, we match the antonyms. The second part, part two, is we use them in sentences, okay? So you try to use the different words. As an example, I make one sentence, and then my partner uses the antonym to make the opposite sentence. So in these situations, what would we say, okay? So if I make a sentence with accept, my partner makes an sentence with refuse. If I make a sentence with refuse, my partner make a sen makes a sentence with accept. We are trying to practice using them, not only say the word, but use them in sentences. Okay, so two parts. One, to match them, and the second part, to use them in sentence. Is everybody ready? Okay, let's make our groups. Hi, Lydia. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? We're fine. fine. Thank, Thank you. you for us. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How about your weekend? We share the image. Okay. Okay. First, we got to, to match the is the antonyms for admit. The admit is uh, refuse. Is the example. No, but accept yeah, and refuse are, are the, the example. The second, admit, I think is... Ah, sorry, sorry, yes, yes, yes. Oh, admit sorry. is maybe, yes, 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 sorry. The opposite is the, um, is the uh, disagree? No, 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 admit is... For example, for example, accept is refuse, eh? Ah, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so admit. Admit is a... Uh, uh, find, eh? What up, what up? Love for for we have four accept and ref, uh, refuse agree and disagree um, find and lose and say and spend four uh, we can find five or wrong to me. Mm. I don't know, borrow. Borrow is... Borrow. What, what is borrow? Is a... Uh... It is when someone uh, take... Uh, um, take borrow <laughs> for something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, uh, is a uh, um. Give for example, the, uh, for example, do you let me ten dollars? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. So, mm -hmm. so, so, what it is? This, this way, <laughs> very, very, very near to the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. 
How do you remember? Okay. Okay, you remember very well. Uh, and I don't know Anthony's. What is Anthony's yeah. ballroom? Land. Uh, Land, I think. That is correct. It's correct. Yes, the the antonym of borrow is lend. Lend. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. <laughs> Good. Deny. I deny. This is admit. Yes. Okay. Dislike. Dislike. Like. 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 Only like. Mm -hmm. Disagree, agree. Divorce. <laughs> Marry. <laughs> yeah, I think it's my enjoy. Um, enjoy, dislike. Enjoy, um, dislike or angry, I think. See? Yes. Dislike. Mm -hmm. Dislike. Ah, I can start land. <laughs> <laughs> Find. Lose. Yes. I think. Lose. Okay. Forget. Remember. Remember. <laughs> Yes, okay. That I I deny that I like um uh, I, I don't know, I deny I deny that that I spend all my money in clothes. That's great. <laughs> okay, the next Okay, um, I make a, in agree, would agree. Yes, yes and I continue. Okay, okay. Um, I agree work in this class. Okay, I disagree when people talk so much. Okay. And borrow uh -huh. land. I'm... I think and I don't know what uh, you 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 give the the consent, but another is like a abrupt the 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 the, the board. I think it's that, but I don't remember. Yeah, well, <laughs> because uh, I I, 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 don't I don't remember it either. Is he, that work? Is something different? For which word? Yes, we, the, yes, teacher. The the uh, the borrowed and lent. The difference. Yes, but I okay. don't remember. If you go to Banco Agricola, or uh -huh. uh, if you go to a bank, you borrow money. Okay. Banco Agricola lends you money. Ah. Oh. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. So borrow is when you ask for. Lend is when they give. They give, yeah. Uh -huh. Ask. Okay. Antonym is it's cinema. Correct. You make one sentence and then uh, your partner makes the other. Bessie makes the other sentence. So, for example, if you make a sentence with borrow, Bessie makes a sentence with lend. Okay. Okay. I try, try to. Okay, Bessie. I, I. Okay. Try I, to. I borrow. I borrow. I borrow. Um, like the teacher said, I borrow money. Uh, maybe or I I went I, I went to the I went to the bank. 
I went, I more went, the, huh? More complete. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try it. Uh, okay. I, I went, went to the, to the uh -huh. library. I went to the library and I borrowed. I spent my time looking at bad film. And I I lent I lent a pencil um about borrow an eraser. Mm. Mm. No. <laughs> I enjoyed Mm, your meal is so delicious for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dislike. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Um, I am Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the compliment of Patty. <laughs> I am Mary. Uh, I be no. happy. No, mi oración es: I enjoyed your meal. It's so delicious. <laughs> Do you like your meal? <laughs> you are using the word forget or find? No. Find. 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 Lose. And I use lose. Um, yes. Let me see. I I lose my my sunglasses. I I I don't. <laughs> I can't find it. That is true. <laughs> Okay, are there any questions about the antonyms? Any that you're not sure how to make or how to use? Teacher, when say Danny and admit. Okay. When it's correct, I say I admit I like the show. No. No, I admit to entry in this part of this building. No. No. Okay, I is is I hear your explanation. Okay, admit is that you accept. You accept the accusation or you accept the comment. Okay, so I say uh, like normally admit is who took the who took my cell phone, and you say I admit. I is you accept you took my cell phone, okay? Or if I say, uh, Arturo, you have, uh, the, the, uh, Arturo's uh, wife says, you have a girlfriend. Arturo says, yes, I admit it. Is I accept it. It's true. This is admit. Deny is when you do not accept the accusation. When you say is not true, this is deny. Okay. It's, Admit in this case because the opposite is deny is not like to enter the house. It's not like you admit someone into the house or you admit into the school. It's not enter. It's possible in a different situation. The, it's possible the usage admit, but for here for the antonym deny is not possible. Yes, correct, teacher. Use admit when the the people run for some. And uh, Joe, mm. no, I'm not not uh, sure. For... I submit. I submit my curriculum for the. Ah, okay, okay. My yes. CV for for the employed. Mm -hmm. Is is correct? Is uh, I I was admit. No, 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 no. no. Um, okay. Is is. 
it just is like Cesar, it is possible, uh, for example, uh, um, when you use, but it's a different meaning, it's not the same meaning, okay? For example, when you say, it's in the chat, okay? When you say, I was admitted to the school, this is, uh -huh. I was accepted to the school, this is admitted, but here, the this is the the opposite is uh, is not to accept, so is deny is normally for conversations or something, but it it can be used. They have because admit has different meanings. One admit is accept the words, or accept the accusation, the the situation. This is admit. The other admit is like to enter. Okay, yeah. like you are part of the organization, the company, the school, the business, this is the other admit. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay. Any other questions? Um, I have a question with borrow and lend. Uh, because lend is like a, when you ask, ask for something to someone, but borrow is not the same the same meaning. No, no, no. There are different meanings. When you when you go to Banco Agricola and you ask for money, is you borrow money. But Banco Agricola lends money. Borrow, I ask to money. You ask. And lend is the banco lend money Correct. for me. Correct. Correct. Uh, so, for example, with the phone, I lend the phone to you. You borrow the phone. So lend is originally who, who is the owner, who has the property and gives. Mm -hmm. This is the lend. The person that receives is the person that borrows. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay, good. Then let's continue with our topic now that we're okay with the uh, vocabulary of antonyms. Now we're looking at past models. Um, here is just how to talk or describe things in the past actions. Okay, For this we're going to watch a small video and just make sure that we understand and then I'll explain the video. Are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about actions in the past? Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Remember for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read these situations. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Number one. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Okay. Late. But in both cases, our opinion and to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. participle. 
to guess we use when and how do we use past it okay i think this one makes it easier right there okay so we're looking at two different words right we're looking at should have and would have both of them we're using them with have and the past participle what's the difference what do you well, what did you understand was the difference between should and would when i give my opinion i use should when i give my uh my suggestion i use will okay anybody else is that yes okay so there we have to give opinion what do we use to give opinion would, would have. exactly i would have i would have uh -huh. okay okay this is my opinion and to give suggestion is should okay so normally would is okay is the idea that we have is normally uh, we're going to use would you okay and normally it's going to be should i okay the same when you but in the questions when you answer the questions is i give my opinion okay andres miguel or whatever you i give my opinion is you should have and then my opinion okay or my suggestion sorry and then i would have this is what i do so normally when you say i would is for in this situation, what I do. When we use should, is normally you recommend what to do. Okay, so, sorry, it should be right here. A little bit there. So, always, one more time, give my opinion, would have. Okay, now, does it make, how do we give the other one to give a suggestion? Should have. Now, for both of them, we use have because we use have because it's in the past tense. It's not in the present tense. This is what in the past, okay? So, as an example, before the pandemic, what is your opinion? What do you do before the pandemic? What is your recommendation? Ah, before the pandemic, you tell me, ah, you should have whatever you suggest. You should have gone to the supermarket. You should have saved money. You should have whatever you think. For you, when you say what you do is I would. I would have, and then what you do. I would have saved money. I would have gone to the supermarket. I would have, uh, I don't know. Uh, visited my family okay so what is the difference really people use both of them but normally would have the people use with I I would have and should the people normally use with you they tell you what to do you should have it's okay the ideas to give opinion recommendations Yes. Vanya says yes. We need to practice a little bit. So for this, yes. it, okay, exactly. That's that's the good idea. The the point is always we first we understand the structures. This is the most important. Then the second is we practice the structures. So when we say would is I would. When we say should is you should. Right. So here, I'll show you my screen. Here we have 5.9 and we have many different situations, okay? Here we have a situation for, okay, the cashier gave me too much change. That means the person in the, in the story returned the money, gave me more money than necessary, okay? What should I have and how do we use the verb? In present, in past, or past participle? Past participle. Past participle. Correct, past participle. So what would be the correct answer? Done. 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 There we go. Okay. And now you give your opinion. What should I have, what should you have done? Sorry, what should I have I done? Ah, 
you tell the person you should have and whatever is your opinion okay because this is for what you recommend you should have told the manager you should have returned the money you should have whatever your opinion is in the past in the past correct in this moment we are practicing in the past is the same models we practiced before in the present i would go to the store i would buy a movie if if i found money but in this moment we are practicing all of the activities in the past okay so um i don't know maybe if i saw uh i saw the police uh taking money okay what should have I what should have I done? We answer with the same. Go ahead, Ruth. Mm -hmm. You should to report it. Correct. Okay, you should have remember you should have and then reported it. Okay. I can ask the different question, what would what would you have done? Ah, then the answer is going to be, not you should, the answer is going to be, I would have. I would have whatever your opinion is. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, yeah. Uh, if will is used for me and should is used for other person in the exercise uh, 5.9 in the Exercise number one, uh, they say, what should I have done? Correct. It's correct. It, it not is what would I have done? No, because it's what would you have done? Because I asked for you in your situation. What should I have done is I ask you to give me your recommendation. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So you use should in the question. Is different in the question you use should when you when you say I, what should I have done is what is your opinion for me what do you think is the correct that I do when I say what would you have done is what do you do in the situation okay in question is should for me for you so what should yeah. if you use if you use I Okay, if you use the word I, then yes, you're going to say should. What should I have done? Not what would I have done. Okay. You, you, you're going, if you're going to use you, you're going to say what would you have done. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So here, we're going to have different situations. You're going to talk about different things. Uh, we're going to start with the ones that are here in 5.9, and we're going to discuss Can what I do have you done. What do you do in these situations? Or what do you do in other situations? Okay, what do you see, what do you do? And the partner can, we have a lot of things in El Salvador, okay? They, they can happen. What would you do if you saw um, the, the mother hitting the child? What would you do? Oh. Is your decision, is your life, what, what is your action? What should I have done is what do you recommend me to do? Not what you do, but what do you recommend me to do? Now, normally you think it's the same, but it's not the same because one is what are your situation and your style and what your decision? And the other is what is your opinion for me? Okay, let's try, I think with some practice, we can, uh, we'll get a better idea and then we have a better chance to make sure it's correct.
Bessie, you okay? Hey, Romulo, your partner, there's Bessie. Bessie, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Right. Okay. I should. Uh, oh, okay. And. Um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Don't worry. And other exercise. Um, it's like uh, the. Ah, uh, for example, a question: What would you do if you have to return to the office? Exactly. Okay. Yes, I think that uh, it's a good question when the teacher maybe come. Maybe yes. question. I think mm. of participants for all, but okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the number two, I ignore an email from someone and don't like. What would you have? Uh, what you um, do you uh, Don't. Don't. It's past participle. Okay, I look the the ex structure because I for me it's all past participle. And yes. And for me. And two. You should have. My teacher. Teacher, when, when, uh, the, the question, uh, for example, I ask uh, Bessie, mm -hmm. if, if, he, Bessie, if you see uh, the, the robbery, uh, uh, no, if you, if, if you, if you see, no, if you saw, uh, a robbery assault to the pedestrian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? I I I I confuse with the question, teacher. I, no, no, it's or, correct. What? Mm -hmm. What? Have you? What would you? Ah, uh, what will you done? What would you have do. done? Have done. What mm -hmm. would you done? Okay. Have done. Remember, what would you have done? Because we are using have to put in the past tense. So when you use have, it gives the idea for the would or should in the past. This is the recommendation or opinion in the past. Yeah, what would you have done? Correct. Okay. Okay. So, whatever situation, I, I crashed my car and I didn't call the police. Okay. What would you have done? What would you have done? Exactly. What would you have done? Okay. What okay. will you have done? a little bit confused <laughs> yeah that's why it takes time we practice we practice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes it's danger <laughs> yes it's danger okay um sentence um you should um, oh. you should uh, aiding, aiding, uh, 
health, health and vegetables and fruit. Okay. I will have run uh, at night. I will have run at night. Run. Si pa pas participle of run run run. Okay. Sense between other people's and you you should have to more precautions about the uh, for someone to um, talk about with you the distance is two meters away from you in this case the coronavirus is better more more it's better uh, to be more distant about you. It's my suggestion. Yes. It's my suggestion. I don't know what if you think about this this topic. The teacher thing is you have taken pre pre precaution. How how do you say precaution, teacher? Precautions. Precaution. precaution. Yes, you can use any any motto that you want. You uh, you can say like you should have, or I would have, or whatever you want. But the important is to always use have and the past participle. So like when Omi asks you, Patricia, what would you do is what would you have done? Okay, or if he asks you what should I do, what should you can say what should I do or what should I have done, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. The difference is when you say what should I do is correct grammatically, but the difference is that this is in the present. This is now. When you say what should I have done is you are talking about the activity in the past. In the past. Mm -hmm. This is the difference. In the answer change the the the. the the words uh, don't in, in the, is in the question, but your answer uh, use take, take precaution, pre, taking precaution. Okay, so yes, you taken, correct. So you say you should have taken precautions or I would have taken precautions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The idea of Taken or sorry, the idea of have is to indicate the activity in the past. Okay. Okay. Other topics, um, I think about the try to 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 be to be comfortable with the new the new start, right? Yeah. And I think it, it's important to, to show have uh, learn and and read about other countries and 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 I don't know let's try with with make some new friends yes mm -hmm. okay and in the suggestion is the suggestion must uh, pass uh -huh. participle but I don't I don't I don't know I don't clear in this point Okay, about the gra the rule of grammar teacher. The gram Do you guys have any questions? Yeah, it's very difficult. The for the the the, uh, the ordering in to produce any question about this this topic, teachers, very difficult. Yes, Omi. It's 
because we're we're looking at this topic and is only possible in the past is not possible in the present and is not possible in the future this structure is for the past only so only activities in the past okay uh, that's that's what makes it more difficult because you we are using have to indicate the past tense yes exists the possibility in the present with no have and it's correct but is not the past this is the present for example you say i would uh, i would go to the beach this is the present if you say i would have gone to the beach this is the past okay so always we use have for the past tense okay okay we're going to practice more tomorrow oh, yes camila mm -hmm. Yes, I have a question, teacher. When we use a past participle and simple past. Okay, you always use the past participle with have. Always with the auxiliary have, has, or had. But anytime you have this auxiliary, you use the past participle. Okay, when, when I use have, it's only past participle. Correct. In when I don't use have is simple past. Correct. It's only the past action exactly. Okay. Because it's I uh, I could um, I could have I would have I should have I I may have all of these indicate the past. Okay. When you use only the verb in past as I bought I fought I saw. This indicate the action is done, but is not indicate with an opinion or recommendation, only indicates the action. That's why we're using should, would, could, may, the, all of these are for suggestions and opinions. You have to use those with would, go, would, stay. All of the woulds and shoulds and everything, when you use them is with the verb in present. If you use the verb in past, it's not giving an opinion or a recommendation. I should pay more attention about this structure, teacher, and to learn more about because it's very difficult to me manage these cases. No. <laughs> but um, don't worry on me. We're going to practice more tomorrow because we need to. This structure is difficult and you need practice in order to make sure it's clear and you need situations in the past because this yeah. is this structure is only for situations in the past. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Have a great night and we'll continue practicing more tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Great night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye.